Hey there, it's Pete Checkley for Sunplug Review and today I'm checking out the Tom Wolfe Premier Collection from UK based sound designer Tom Wolfe. The Tom Wolfe Premier Collection contains nine Omnisphere sound sets, there are four Artoria Pigment sound sets and two Yuhi Zebra sound sets. Sound sets are really important to get the most out of your synth and Tom Wolfe over the years has proven to be a master of sound design. This deep dive is designed to take a deeper look of these sound sets and explore the fantastic sound design that's contained within. The Tom Wolf Premier Collection downloads at just over 800 megabytes and contains 15 sound sets. It requires Omnisphere 2.6, Pigments version 2 and Zebra 2.9. Normally it sells for £199 excluding VAT, however if you own one or more of the included preset packs then you're eligible to get a customised upgrade price. So before I jump in, as a quick overview, there are 1600 presets. So obviously playing through all of those in this video will be uh, rather challenging. But the great thing is I don't need to go through how the synths work. So I will take each sound set uh, separately and turn off the mic and just play through examples. I'll also do a quick introduction of each one just to get an idea of what the flavour or the style is supposed to be. So we're going to start off with Ares, which is the first Omnisphere sound set. Ares is more of a action-packed Omnisphere sound set, so we're thinking lots of uh, ARP and BPM patches and um, just sort of a lot more in-your-face and uh, action bass. So... One thing to say is the demos on the Tom Wolf website are absolutely fantastic. There's a stack of these and even Tom Wolf himself says these are designed to be used in conjunction with other libraries. However, having spent hours and hours and hours this collection, you can obviously do complete scoring from start to finish using just what's contained within these sound sets. So I'm going to play through uh, some of the more action orientated patches from the Ares sound set.
Next we have Atmos, which is more of your uh, kind of dystopia, like everything's got a bit crazy. Um, uh, I think like Chernobyl, that, that kind of really dark scoring. And yes, so here we go. Here's Atmos.
The first two sound sets uh, sound great. Uh, Air is really action packed, lots going on, and Atmos is just pure atmosphere. So it does exactly what the title says. Let's move on to um, it is the Dystopia sound set, which is a hundred dystopian base uh, sounds. So here we go.
Next we have Fractal Part 1 and Part 2. Now Fractal, the first part is more of a industrial sound set, then the second part is more dark, dark cinema. Uh, can't emphasise the darkness on that one. So perfect for obviously drama, mystery and horror scoring. So I'm going to go between both parts, Fractal 1 and 2. So we'll start off with Fractal 1 and then I'll open some patches from Fractal 2.
So again, some really diverse and very, very cinematic sounds there. Now, going to move on to Halcyon, which is, uh, again, parts one and two. It's a total of 300 ambient patches.
Next we have London, which is a hundred British style cinema sounds.
Finally, we have Oblivion, which is all about cinematic sci-fi.
So there is a very small selection of the Omnisphere content of the Tom Wolf Premier Collection. Now, I could go on playing and playing and playing. However, uh, we're going to start looking at the next synths. But before we do, I have to say, going from action-packed to ethereal soundscapes, then dystopia, and at the end, oblivion with all the alien ideas, it's, it's just a really, really cool selection of sounds that, again, as they're used with other libraries, as suggested, you're going to get some really, really great effects. So this really is pushing the boundaries of what Omnisphere is capable of. Now we're going to move over to the Artoria Pigments 2 sound sets. So let's check those out. There are four Artoria Pigments 2 sound sets in the Tom Wolf Premier Collection. And we're going to start off by looking at High Alice, which is more of a glassy ambient sound set. <laughs> Thank you. 
Moving on, we're going to look at Radeon Part 1 and Part 2 together. Now these are a collection of cinematic synths.
Finally, the last sound set for Artorio Pigments is the recapture sound set, which is all about cinematic synths.
So that once again is a very small selection of the presets contained for Artorio Pigments 2 in the Tom Wolf Premiere Collection. Now these are very rooted in cinematic synthesis and again they'd be perfect for underscore or sci-fi uh, film scoring, uh, general film scoring but there's some really really cool sounds going on here. So that is uh, Pigments. Now we're going to look at the last two sound sets and these are in Zebra. The first Zebra sound set we're going to look at from the Tom Wolf Premier Collection is the Automation, which is all about robots. Now, if I just quickly slow through, you can see there is uh, plenty going on. So let's dive in. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
And finally, that takes us to Translucid, which is a ambient yet cinematic sound set for Zebra. Thank you. 
So there we have it. The 15 sound sets that are contained within the Tom Wolf Premiere Collection. Now, um, for my final thoughts, it's, yeah, it's a very comprehensive uh, sort of collection of uh, different sound sets. To go through every single patch, all 1600 of them, would literally take hours. And as I was going through the demos, I know there are any demos, as in I'm playing little bits, just to get an idea of the sounds. Uh, but there are certain times where I could have easily just got lost and continued using single patches. A lot of the pads are fantastic. I love the basses, the leads, um, the arpeggios, sequences. I mean, so much work has been put into all of these sound sets uh, and that's really, really evident. And the fact they're all categorized into different genres is really, really useful. So if you're a media composer um, or just composing for fun and you have a specific style you're doing, you can just open up that sound set and uh, get exploring. So for me, it represents fantastic value for money. Um, there is so much going on there. Uh, you have hours and hours and hours of exploring to do. And of course, the you know every single patch I've played today has uh, just, just sounded absolutely fantastic outside the box. Now, there were certain moments where there's a little bit of pop or clicking. That wasn't anything to do with the sound sets. It was the mod wheel control uh, on Omnisphere or Pigments or Zebra. And uh, sometimes while train patches, I left it uh, on 100%. So when I was bringing it down, it started to pop. So please don't think that's got anything to do with this wonderful collection of sounds. Um, so yeah uh, i highly recommend this collection and i look forward to using it a lot more in my own personal cues and in my workflow thank you so much for checking out this deeper look at the tom wolf premiere collection once again just need to really state hugely recommend this collection it sounds absolutely fantastic and there's so much going on here if you like the video please leave us a comment uh, put a like on the video let us know how you'd use this, what do you like about the sounds, and would it find its way into your workflow. Please check out the other videos on the Sample Library Review YouTube channel, and then if you fancy it, pop over to samplelibraryreview.com and check out what's going on in the world of virtual instruments. Have a fantastic day and take care.